so most likely it will be a Frixotrichus uh, vulpinus here and quite happy to find this uh, small juvenile specimen and of course we are now searching for the bigger ones, the adult females, hopefully adult males, we don't know yet and uh, see what we're going to find in this area. So Phryxotrichos vulpinus, a species probably never entering the hobby with a stable captive bred population. Back in the days where legal exports of Chile were possible, hundreds of adult specimens and juveniles actually got exported for the pet trade. But sadly, no one from the experienced breeders were able to reproduce them or even keep them alive. They're dependent on something we can't provide them in captivity with. So that's the sad truth for all of us hobbyists. So we have to admire them in the wild with these kind of types of videos. And luckily they are all within a private reserve and public national reserve of protected forests within the country of Chile. So there is good possibility that this species will be here for a long time. The genus Frixotrichos is a truly unique one in many ways. Like of course their coloration is fascinating, including their distinct two urticating hair patches on the abdomen, but also their behavior and movement is like one of the most docile species of tarantulas ever recorded in the field. And uh, the male is still okay, doing great. We were able to handle the specimens, didn't matter if they were adult males, adult females, in every part of the day, in the morning, in the evening, it didn't really matter. And another interesting fact is that all of these ones were walking outside of any burrow or retreat. We found a couple of different retreats completely silked up because they were protecting their exec. But other than that, we did not find any specimen underneath a tree trunk or underneath a stone. They were just wandering around in the forests. So nothing we've ever seen before with any tarantula out there. Getting a look into one of the opened XX within the burrow retreat of one of the females just on the roadside embankment it actually came clear to us that the spiderlings are very special looking with these two distinctive urticating hair patches on the orange colored abdomen. There were easily over 60 specimens in there. And uh, we'll continue our search. Ceratogyros sanderi is a species uh, which we found last year on this area, it's around the Waterberg Plateau. So this is Ceratogyros sanderi, it is the horned baboon tarantula from Namibia. Its type locality was the Windhoek city, capital city of Namibia, but the range actually extends into the western region of Zimbabwe. And it was described in the year 1906 by Embrick Strand. And the funny thing is with as many other African tarantulas, the adult males are way smaller than their adult female counterparts. Also, it would be great, it would be awesome if you watch through all our older videos from Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Chile, 
we have so many tarantulas in the wild. Field clips on our channel, so that would be amazing. There is somewhat of a roadside embankment and therefore you have these cuts within the forest where you actually are able to find and spot tarantula birds much more easily than on the yeah, forest floor where there is a lot of leaf litter. On these type of uh, roadside embankments or, or trail side embankments uh, there is almost no leaf litter present and therefore you can better see the actual burrows. As with many tarantula species, this Sericopelma elementarzum was no different. It's way easier to get them out at night when they're hunting, just sitting at the retreat entrance. You just take a stick, imitate one of the prey items they usually prey on and hope that she will emerge from the burrow just as this specimen, Sericopelma melanotarzum, did for us. Sericopelma melanotarzum is a species of tarantula native to the eastern region of Costa Rica where they sometimes live sympatrically with Megaphobema mesomelas. They're not in the very same habitat but just a few meters in altitude difference makes the change of whatever you find Megaphobema mesomelas or actually these Sericopelma melanotarzum. The species name Melanotarzum actually refers to their black tarsal tips in an adult male specimen. So the adult males are completely brown colored, a very highly colored brown tone, but the black tips just make it very easy to spot and identify the species as Sericopelma melanotarzum.